What's up you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sandra. I am an interior designer. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and that you're happy, healthy, and living your best life. All right, so I've given you guys so many home decor tips and advice. So you know what? I think it's time it's time to give the windows some lovin'. I feel like window treatments have its own language and there's so many different options and so many different styles that it feels a little overwhelming, don't you think? I, well, I mean, I think so. So I decided to narrow it down to the four best kind of window shades that there are, in my opinion. I'm gonna tell you guys what kind of window shade it is, its features, some cons and then how to clean it the first one is a roman shade and what is a roman shade you may ask it is a window covering that has folds and by folds i mean if you look at a roman shade it has these horizontal rows going across kind of like a decorative feature so that is a fold now some features of a roman shade is that it comes in a variety of fold styles so you can get pretty traditional with the fold or you can get contemporary or you can get pretty modern there are different material options as well so you can get a roman shade that is in fabric you can get wood you can get bamboo there's also different types of colors and patterns so you can pretty much customize a roman shade to your liking and another thing is that having a roman shade it adds some elegance to the room and then you can be certain that this this will never go out of style because it's been used for years and years and still used to this day. Alright, so here are some cons. I wouldn't recommend having a Roman shade in the bathroom and the reason is because it has the ability to hold on to water so it will make the shade damp and all the excess moisture and humidity will probably create some mildew problems in the future so I don't think we want that for a Roman shade so just maybe avoid putting it in bathrooms or in places where it's really humid. Now to clean it, I would use a vacuum brush. You know, you can just vacuum the shade or you can use a microfiber cloth or a duster. All right, so now moving on to a roller shade. It's a fabric or vinyl that's rolled around a tube and it rolls up really neatly at the top of the window. It is very simple, clean, and modern so it won't distract from other decor. And it's one of the reasons why a roller shade is one of my favorite, to be honest, because it's just so simple. It is very easy to lift and lower. It comes in a variety of colors and like I mentioned earlier, the only material that you can really get is either a fabric or a vinyl. It can be paired with curtains, which is another reason why I love it and just how it complements the curtains so well. It can be motorized, you can have a cordless option too. Compared to other shades, I would say that this one is the most budget friendly and you won't break your bank buying roller shades. Now, to be honest, I really don't have any cons for a roller shade because they're just that awesome. Um, so I'm going to tell you guys how to clean it. If your roller shade is vinyl, I would wipe it down with a warm soapy water and just let it air dry. If you have fabric, I would use a vacuum brush or use a duster, um, but no water. Moving on to solar shades, it is a woven polyester fabric that is specifically made to block all the UV rays coming into your space. It also has very similar physical traits like the roller shade because it has the roller function. Aside from blocking the UV rays, it also prevents and reduces glare onto your computer screen. I had a client install this all around his office because he had so many windows and all this sunlight was coming into the space. So far, no complaints and it's reduced all the glare on people's computer screens another feature is that it could be cordless it could be motorized you know depending on your liking and how much you want to customize it now i would say that this solar shade is more expensive than a roller shade and the reason is just due to the material it is mostly only available in neutral colors now another nice feature about a solar shade is that it's transparent meaning that you can have the window shade down but you can still see outside so it's not going to block the view you can also customize the openness factor which is you can decide how much light you want coming into the space all right so i do have one con for this shade and that is you will and can get privacy during the daytime but once night hits then people will be able to see inside your home or your interior so i don't think it gives the best privacy at nighttime to clean it it's very similar like the other shades 
I would use a vacuum brush or a duster. All right, so for the last one, it is called a cellular shade. It is basically two pieces of fabric folded together and that creates these little air pockets. Since it has double fabric and these little air pockets, it traps in air which makes it very energy efficient. It's also the safer option if you have kids or pets because I know that my nephew likes to pull on the cords on our blinds that we currently have. It can be motorized so you can connect it to your Alexa or Google. I would say that a cellular shade is not super easy to clean due to the fabric that is used and it is very delicate. One thing that I forgot to mention for all the shades that I just talked about is that you can add blackout lining. So it's basically a fabric behind the shade used to completely block off any light coming into the space. So if you are one of those people that likes to sleep in in the morning and you don't want any sun peeking through, then adding a blackout lining would be really beneficial for you guys. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope that this was really insightful for any of you guys that are confused about window shades or what type to Get because you know again like I mentioned before it is just a whole different world out there so I just narrowed it down to my favorite shades you know my opinion give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I just want to say thank you to all the new subscribers that I got I am delighted to have you guys join and I will catch you guys in another design Tuesday with Sandra bye